You've probably heard that hookup culture only hurts women and primarily benefits men. And although I can understand why people say that, the truth is, that's not quite the case. Men are hurt by hookup culture in several ways that no one seems to be talking about. Let's start with the male motivation. Now, aside from the physical pleasure that comes from sex, men today are given the message that it's more masculine to hook up with lots of beautiful women, and especially if you can do so without getting attached. Today, the men who have access to lots of women who are willing to hook up with them are men who are seen as having a higher social value and are also seen as being more spontaneous, powerful, and in many ways, more valuable. But before we get to casual hookups and how it affects these men, first we should acknowledge what this implies for those that aren't hooking up with women. The message that these men often hear in our culture is that they aren't as valuable as the men who get the girls, or at minimum, they're seen as lacking in some way. They're made to feel like they're uniquely flawed or that something's wrong with them. But statistically speaking, the number of men who are either virgins or have not had sex in the last year has been on a steep rise in the last 10 to 15 years. Now, my point in saying this is that given that hooking up with several women in our culture today has been taken as a sign of high personal value, that's created a massive void where now, more than ever before, young men who aren't hooking up with women are starting to feel confused, lost, and in some cases worthless since they either choose to remain celibate or aren't able to attract women who desire them sexually. So on a social level, they're made to feel like they have less value than these other alpha males who are sleeping with all of the women. One thing that makes this situation so unfortunate is that people in culture talk about hooking up with a lot of women as if it results in nothing but benefits and as if there's no negative consequences for the man. But no one seems to be talking about the fact that although hooking up with a lot of women might make you feel better in the short run, in the long run, it usually makes things far worse for them. Now, of course, I get it. Suggesting that a man can make his life miserable by regularly hooking up with several women in today's culture, it might sound ridiculous. In reality, hooking up with multiple women impacts your life in far more ways than what's obvious at that time, and it starts to take you further away from what you truly and ultimately want. One of the ways it does so is found in the fact that when we have sex, our brains release chemicals called oxytocin and vasopressin, which help us to bond with and to trust other people. These chemicals are responsible for establishing a chemical bond in our brains with other people. And the more times that we have sex with someone, the more that those bonding connections deepen. So sex has the potential to deepen a bond between two people, unlike anything else on this planet, but the downside is that breaking this bond is painful, which is why most men in hookup culture want hookups without the bonding. But this too isn't without its consequences because the more that we establish these bonds and break them, we start to train our brains to not associate bonding with sex as a way to protect ourselves from the pain that comes from breaking those bonds. Now, some guys might be hearing this and they might consider it to be the optimal situation because they only want the benefits that come from hookups. And in some ways, this could be a better situation for them, but that's only until they find the the woman that they truly do want to have a deep and lasting bond with. In reality, as the statistics show, the more people that we hook up with before we get married, the higher our chances are of having that marriage end in divorce. I think one of the reasons why is because consistent and emotionless sex makes it much harder for us to bond with the person that we do want to form a deep bond with, which counter to popular opinion is something that most men actually do ultimately want. Even for most of the guys that are deep in a hookup culture, they'll even tell you that they want to play the field until they find the right woman to commit to. So the end goal is still commitment to the right woman. But what they don't realize is that it's going to be harder for them to not only bond with that woman, but they'll also have a harder time staying faithful to her since they developed a mental habit of associating sex with people that they aren't bonded to. And real quick, while we're on the topic of finding the one and bonding, one of the reasons why it's so hard for Christians on dating apps to find the person that they want to stay forever bonded with is because the apps aren't specifically designed for Christians to bond on the things that are personally the most important to them. Most dating apps are photocentric and of course, lasting relationships aren't built on physical attractiveness since most of us aren't going to look as good in 20 years as we do now. Instead, lasting marriages are built on specific shared values that can nourish a long lasting and loving relationship. And that's why I asked Tire Bond to sponsor this video because they're the only Christian dating site that bonds Christians on specific Christian values that they personally find the most important. So if you're a single Christian and you want to find the person that you want to stay forever bonded with, go ahead and click the link down below and get three months for free. And thank me later. 
Now, I don't want to be misunderstood. If you're someone who's hooked up with a lot of people already, the science and the statistics don't mean that your fate is forever sealed and that your marriage is going to end in divorce. It just means that if you're like me, then you're just going to have to be more intentional about renewing your mind, as Paul the Apostle says. That's going to be more work for people like us because you'll have to train your brain to think differently about bonding once again, and it's not a quick or an easy process. But with God's grace and mercy, it can definitely be done. I'm living proof of it. And on the other hand, if you're on the other side of this issue and you're a guy who's struggling to attract women and that's negatively impacting your self-esteem, other than what's already been discussed in this video, I just want to say that I understand because we all have a desire to want to be truly seen, accepted, and loved for who we are. But one thing I'd say is that no woman, no relationships, and no marriage is going to fulfill you in the way that only Christ can. And I know that sounds super cliche, but it's true. Even though I'm someone who truly does have the best wife in the world, I'd still say that reflecting on the message of the gospel consistently and allowing those truths to go deeper and deeper is far more satisfying and sustaining than anything that my wife has to offer. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't go out and try to find a wife, but what it does mean is that whether or not you find a wife or not, God's grace is still the answer that your heart is truly an ultimate ultimately searching for. And if you're having a hard time understanding what I mean, then go ahead and click here and I'll see you over at the next video. But the next time that you find yourself thinking that hookup culture will ultimately make you happier in the long run, what are you going to say? What do you mean?